right, continuing these trig problems, uh, just make sure you go back and use your SOHCAHTOA ratio. I do go over that at the beginning of the uh, 7 through 10 videos. Uh, so check those out if you need to, but we'll go ahead and dive on into this here quickly. Um, this one is the same thing as 10 here. Uh, I give you all three sides. You're finding your angles here. I'm going to find X first. That's your opposite adjacent and then your hypotenuse side. If you find Y first, O and A will be switched around. Okay. Uh, I, just for fun, I'm going to use uh, O and H right here. That's going to be uh, using the sine function. So we'll do sine of angle X and then equals 7 divided by 25. Once again, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Um, to undo or solve for an angle, we use the sine inverse or second sine. So that's second sine, uh, 7 over 25. And let's see what that comes out to. Uh, roughly 16.2, or actually really they wanted us around to the whole number. So about 16 degrees right there for that first part. Let's go see what's happening here with angle Y. So if I look with respect to angle Y right here, the new opposite is going to be 24. The adjacent is going to be 7, and then the hypotenuse stays the same right there. So actually, I'm going to use the 7 and the 25 again. Uh, sometimes you might only have two numbers, so you might not have much of a choice, but I could really just choose any two numbers I want and use the appropriate trig function. Um, so that one, A and H, uses cosine. That'd be cosine of angle, whoops, I guess Y. Make sure you use the right variable. That'll help you keep it organized at the end when you're writing your answers in. Uh, and what would that be? 7 over 25 again. And then that'd be whoops, cosine inverse 7 divided by 25. You don't have to use a fraction button, you can just hit uh, second cosine and then just do 7 divided by 25, close parentheses, and roughly 74 degrees. And like I said on number 10 here, you want to make sure these add back up to 90, or if you're confident in your answer for 16 degrees right there, you could do 90 minus 16 to get to 74 degrees as well. So it's kind of two different ways to get to the same answer. All right, uh, number 12 here. Let's see what's going on here. Now, you only got one angle that you're dealing with this time, so OA and H will be in those same spots every time. Uh, let's go ahead and find X first. That's A and H as cosine. That will be cosine of 39 degrees and then equals X over 12. I'm going to do these a little bit faster than the last section. If X is in the numerator, we would multiply both sides by 12, and this would be 12 cosine of 39 degrees. And then uh, that's what x is equal to. So let's see, x is approximately 12 cosine 39. Make sure you are in degree mode. Uh, 12 cosine. Apparently about 9, 9 point. They want us around these two, one decimal, so 9.3 would be good. Um, for y, you would use o, and then I'm going to reuse the h since we started with that. Uh, that would be sine this time, sine of uh, 39 degrees, and then equals y divided by 12. All right, multiply both sides by 12, That's tw uh, since y is in the numerator. It's 12 sine 39 degrees. A lot of these will be, oh, I didn't type it in right. 12 sine 39. So that's roughly 7.6 after you round right there. And then whatever you know units you are given right there. Uh, the smallest side x, wait, what, what happened? Oh, I didn't put my decimal there. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, the, the x is the medium side. Uh, it's 9.3, so that's across from our medium-sized angle, so that's good. Y is the shortest side. Uh, that is, of course, from the smallest angle, so that's good as well. It's a good way to quickly check, make sure everything's valid. Okay, number 13, uh, finding some more angles here. So I guess uh, we'll label O, A, H. Uh, let's use I don't know, let's use the adjacent and opposite here. That would be tangent of X and then equals O, which is 12 over a, which is 5 right there. That's another one where you're solving for the angle, so that's tangent inverse there. Uh, which you hit second tangent, 
12 divided by 5, uh, 67 degrees, roughly. Okay. Uh, now you could do 90 minus 67 to get your 23 degrees for the other answer, but I usually like to just double check, just to, you know, check for myself here. So I'm going to erase this here. If we're doing with respect to angle Y, the opposite changes, the adjacents right there, and then the hypotenuse stays the same. Uh, I'm going to use the 5 and the 12 numbers again right here. It's just going to be this time, it's going to be tangent of y degrees and then equals 5 over 12. So basically it's the flipped version of the fraction. And then that would be tangent inverse, this is a calculator ready form, tangent inverse of 5 divided by 12. And that's second tangent, 5 divided by 12. And that should be roughly 22 or actually really 23 degrees after you round up. Which is what we should have gotten. So let's see, 23 degrees, 67, those do add up to 90, so that checks out right there. Okay, one more here in this row. Let's see, whoops, what's going on on this one here? Here's your side right there, there's your opposite. The hypotenuse is on the bottom this time because it's across from the right angle. And that last side there's got to be the adjacent. So, okay, um, let's use 15 and the A right there, so that's a tangent function. Tangent of 21 degrees, and then equals 15 over x. x is in the denominator. When you cross, multiply, and divide, eventually it'll be this. x equals, and then it'll be 15 divided by tangent of 21. You can cross, multiply, and divide. You can see that process, I think, on number 7 uh, earlier, if you want the full steps right there. But I usually use this little shortcut here. 15 divided by tangent of 21, uh, roughly 39 39, what is that, point 0.1, I guess, after you round properly. And then let's do the same thing for finding y using the O and H this time. And that would be the sine function, sine of 21 degrees, and then 15 over y. Okay, and then uh, 15, you know, as far as calculator ready goes, uh, this would be, after you cross, multiply, and divide, 15 divided by sine of 21. And roughly 41. 41.9 after you round. That was for y. That is the hypotenuse. Y is the hypotenuse, and 41.9 is the longer of the two sides we found. 15 is across from the smallest angle. That checks out. The 39.1, that's across from the medium-sized angle. That checks out as well.